Howdy folks, it's Howie. Howie Cat here. We got Mickey and Friends. A sure cure for the hiccups. Looks like Mickey has the hiccups. Minnie's gonna cure them. These Mickey Minis are kind of fun. Or these Mickey. And it's book six, whatever. I don't even know if I have all six. I guess it was a set, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I just bought them at the uh, used bookstore for an inexpensive price. And we have Mickey painting. Uh-oh, I bet he has the hiccups right there, right? Mickey sighed. He had been hiccuping all morning, and it was very hard to paint shutters with the hiccups. Every time Mickey picked up his brush, ah! his body shook and paint flew everywhere. Minnie was passing by and noticed that Mickey looked upset. What's wrong? She asked. Oh, hiya, ah! Minnie, Mickey replied. It's nothing, ah! and I just can't see ah! get rid of these hiccups. Oh, my, said Minnie. She thought and thought. Then she had an idea. Daisy and I were about to go for a walk, but maybe we can help you instead. Help with what? Daisy asked, walking up the garden path. Mickey has the hiccups, said Minnie. Ah! Said Mickey. Leading Mickey into the kitchen, Minnie poured him a glass of water. Close your eyes and take a tiny sip, she said. Then count to five and take another sip. Mickey closed his eyes and took a sip. Then he counted to five and took another sip. There he is. He's drinking his water. And did it work? Asked Daisy. I think it did, said Mickey. Thanks, Min. Uh oh. It didn't work. Sounds like you need my tried and true hiccup cure, said Daisy. This may seem silly, but just do what I do. Daisy twirled out Minnie's front door. Mickey did too. Daisy did two high kicks, tap danced down the front walk, spun around once and took a bow. Mickey started the same string, but halfway through, ah! Hmm, Minnie said. Again, maybe Donald has an idea. The three friends set out to find Donald, but Minnie and Daisy were much faster than Mickey. When he arrived at Donald's house, they were waiting by the front door. Where's Donald? Mickey asked. He scares them. Before Minnie could answer, Donald jumped out at Mickey. Boo, he shouted. Huh. Mickey cried. Sorry, Mickey, Donald said. Minnie said you had the hiccups. I thought maybe I could scare them away. Did it work? But Mickey just hiccuped again. Mickey tried everything he'd think of to get rid of the hiccups. He skipped rope and sang, um, My name is Minnie. I have a friend named Minnie. And I like two mints. He stood on his head while saying the alphabet backward. Uh! He held his nose and whistled a tune while hoping on one foot. Uh! Hopping. That was hopping, not hoping, hopping. Sorry. <laughs> Nothing worked. Mickey sat down in Donald's hammock and moped. He was starting to feel like he would never get rid of his hiccups. It's no use, he told his friends. I think they're... Uh! Here to stay. Minnie led Daisy and Donald to the side of the yard. I have one last idea, she told them. The three friends whispered to one another for several minutes. Finally, Donald rushed inside and returned with a large sack. We've got it, Mickey, Donald said. The cure for your hiccups is right in here. Donald opened the sack and pulled out some blocks. Concentrating hard, he balanced three of them on his nose. Next, Daisy and Minnie pulled two toy rings out of the sack. They hung one on each side of Donald's arm, and he began to twirl them. Okay, Minnie said. 
It's your turn. Mickey wanted to try, but all he could do was laugh. I'm sorry, Donald. <laughs> you just look so silly. When Mickey finally stopped laughing, he realized something. His hiccups were gone. His friends waited and waited, but not another hiccup came. I did it, shouted Donald. I cured Mickey. Yes, sure did, Donald, said Mickey. I guess laughter really is the best medicine. For hiccups. <laughs> That's cute. Okay. Thanks a lot, folks.